The category is watch, like, subscribe. Welcome to The Freak Show. Welcome to my review for Pose Episode 3, Giving and Receiving. Now, it's Christmas time on Pose. While the House of Evangelista celebrates, Angel tells the story of when she was a child and she stole a red high-heeled leather shoe from a department store that her father took her to. She was like six years old. And she got caught and her dad slapped her across the face. I mean, guys, that was a very tough story to hear. At the ball, Damon has convinced Ricky to walk and gets an almost perfect score. Damon asks Blanca if Ricky can join the house of Evangelista, and she gives him sort of like a trial run, but under the rule that he doesn't corrupt Damon, which he agrees to. Now, pray tell and Damon's ballet uh, teacher, Helena, they both are on an elevator going to visit people in the hospital. Pray tell sees his boyfriend and um, Helena goes to see a friend. He's a former dancing friend. Um, they're just very beautiful scenes of these four people and how they're struggling, um, especially, you know, with AIDS. And pray tell tells this to Blanca. And uh, later, Helena uh, gets the call that her, the friend that she visited in the hospital has died. Um, it was a very emotional and heartbreaking scene because later she takes it out on Damon when he shows up late to school. Helena rips that poor Damon a new one with just shame about being late. And she calls Blanca and Helena tells Blanca that she's going to be making cuts at the end of the year. And as of now, Damon will be cut. So he must commit to dance. No balls. So Blanca grounds Damon a month from the balls, um, like even the snowballs. And he gets really mouthy to his mother and she puts his ass right back in his place. <laughs> Now, Stan takes Angel to her new apartment, and it is nice. I mean, nice, guys. Uh, I mean, they, they, it was a really beautiful place, especially for the 80s. I mean, that is like top notch there. Uh, Angel and Stan finally get intimate when he introduces her into the apartment. Uh, later, uh, Stan steps on Vanderblow's toes at work. Um, he like has a meeting without Vanderblow and like almost uh, like kind of goes behind his back to, to uh, pitch an idea to the higher ups. Uh, then Stan buys Christmas presents for his wife and Angel. Then later, Vanderblow shows up at Stan's house with gifts for his for uh, Stan's family, and he plants the idea of Stan having an affair in Patty's head, and he kisses her. Ugh. <laughs> no offense, I mean, you know, um, James Vanderbeek is really hot and everything, but I just, I'm a married person, I would not, if my husband's boss kissed me, he would literally get a kick to the groin or the throat. Uh, Electra is thinking about gender reassignment surgery and she needs some cash. Um, now, her, the same thing, her uh, house needs cash. Um, they want to kind of decorate for the holidays. So they steal it <laughs> from like one of those Salvation Army Santa Clauses. I mean, guys, you just can't get better writing than this. <laughs> Now they get $2,300 for after stealing it, and Electra uses it as a down payment for her surgery. Good for her. Um, I love Damon and Ricky's relationship. It's so slow and sweet, you know, kind of how the way a good relationship should be. Uh, then Damon tells Ricky that he's ready to give him his virginity. Oh my God, guys, that was so incredible. Now, is that the former fucking Supreme? Patty's mom is a former fucking Supreme. That's incredible. All right, guys, it's Christmas time and Patty confronts Stan about his affair and he denies it. Patty accepts his clever lies because I do have to say they were pretty clever. At Angel's place, she's going all Betty Crocker for Stan who doesn't even show up. So Angel goes home to the house. Uh, Blanca burns the turkey, sadly. 
So the whole family goes out to eat. Uh, I would have burned the turkey as well, or it would have came out bloody, whichever. But it was just a great scene with the family, especially when Blanca gives, their, uh, gives her children their presents. She gives Angel a killer pair of red heels that she talked about from the beginning of the show. From the beginning of the show. Oh my God. Guys, it just literally was a great scene. Even the, the children got together to give Blanca a present. And it was a gold heart because they said that she is their heart. Oh, best scene. I was fucking bawling. And I'm still trying to hold it back now, even during the review. Guys, I definitely give this scene, uh, or excuse me, give this episode a 9.5. It was phenomenal. I'm loving uh, this show. I'm just so into it now. I mean, it's great character development, great story. Um, and I love how brutally honest and real it is, um, you know, especially for all the characters and for them to live their lives. Um, it's just wonderful. So uh, thank you so much for listening for my review. Please don't forget to like it. Now pose.